I'm just trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast. Today I want to discuss 18 time-tested truths that are discussed in Forgotten Fundamentals by Dan Clark. Dan Clark is also the author of my favorite book, which is The Art of Significance, and these 18 time-tested truths are the most important things that Dan has learned throughout his life. So I now want to go through the 18 time-tested truths, starting with the first one being, too many powerful people leading major organizations and even teaching in prestigious educational institutions know the price of everything and the value of nothing. They don't know what they are talking about and make us feel that it's our fault. And the scary thing is, is they don't know that they don't know. The second truth is that we must see who we are and say who we are before we can be who we are. The third truth is that it's harder to find right answers to the wrong questions than to ask the right questions. The fourth truth is that success in life is not determined by our abilities, but determined by our choices. Choices are made based on correct knowledge or truth correct attitude or what, when, and why we act on knowledge, correct perspective or how knowledge and attitude interface to help us make sense of each situation we encounter, and lastly, unquenchable curiosity or relentless questioning. We then reach the next truth, which is that success is never final. It's an ongoing process throughout the rest of your existence that can make an impact beyond your existence. The next truth is that whatever is sufficient to get us to this point is insufficient to get us further, meaning to progress in life you must always find more, meaning you can never settle and think that what you're doing is good enough, and always be looking to improve, understanding that you must improve to reach new heights. The next truth is that in our high-tech world, we must seek more truth and then apply it with high touch. And high touch is where the emotional application of the high tech knowledge creates wisdom, empathy, compassion, urgency, and action. And what this means is that you must use technology for the right reasons and not to do things that lack value. The next truth is that common sense is no longer common, and neither is common courtesy or common knowledge. The next truth is that what we have been in the past does not make us who we are as much as what we hope to become in the future. No matter what your past is like, the future is spotless. The next truth is, the things we hate to hear the most are usually the things we need to hear the most. The next truth is, our initial success in life is about saying yes, but significance and balance are usually about saying no. And this means that you're often going to have to say yes to things you don't want to necessarily do to start, but in order to live a life of significance that's balanced, you often have to say no to certain opportunities that arise. The next truth is, the main thing is to make the main thing the right thing. Time management and prioritizing make the difference. So focus on what's important now, and make what's important now something of significance. We then reach the next truth, which is that there's no such thing as a financial crisis, only an idea crisis, and this is because ideas create income. The next truth is, competition is good, healthy, and productive, but comparison is destructive. Knowing the difference between competition and comparison is crucial. Comparing brings arrogance, disappointment, and discouragement, and all three are bad. The next truth is, that competition can bring disappointment, but that's okay because you learn more from failure than success. And at the end of the day, success and failure mean nothing by themselves. The meaning of both emerges solely from comparison to something or someone else, and this can be bad. The next truth is, you can only become a champion when losing feels worse than winning feels good. The next truth is, there's a difference between depression and disappointment, as well as between the person and the performance. Failure is an event, not a person. And I now reach the last truth, which is to succeed in life and business, you must be brilliant at the basics leadership from the inside out, focused on personal development. And by doing this, you can become more of who you already are because the answers are really inside of you. Taking the time to study these truths, building perspective surrounding the truths, and applying the truths in your life will no doubt assist in crafting a life of significance.
just trying to make it all make sense. They more you know podcast.